So as someone working on vaccine uptake issues, I've read a lot of articles about vaccine distrust this summer and particularly distrust among Black Americans. Today, Black Americans face the lowest vaccination rate of any racial ethnic group. And what's frequently cited to explain this gap is the historical abuse by the medical community, the argument that the medical mistreatment and neglect of the past has now come due in the form of vaccine hesitancy in Black populations today. Case in point, news outlet after news outlet have covered the Tuskegee scandal, one of the most infamous and ethically repugnant medical studies in American history. In the study, hundreds of Black men infected with syphilis were secretly withheld widely available treatment for over three decades after it was released. In 1972, a leaker exposed the abuse and the program was shut down, but only after the preventable death of over 100 Black men and the infection of many of their loved ones. The fallout of Tuskegee and historical incidents like it severely damaged the connection between the medical community and the Black community, and it's become common sentiment to link this generational mistrust to the current gap in vaccination rates as a kind of simple cause effect. Like one headline I saw in a prominent paper entitled, Black Americans should not shun vaccines because of the Tuskegee study. The problem with this kind of thinking though is that it lays blame squarely in the past. But this narrative, this idea that mistrust is primarily historically rooted is a fundamental diversion of responsibility. We asked, did Tuskegee create mistrust? Yes, absolutely. But if we ask, are current structures in medicine also contributing to hesitancy? The answer should also be yes, absolutely. When we think about vaccine hesitancy today, we need to reorient our thinking around persistent present day inequities and disparities. For example, black populations consistently receive worse healthcare. And one study showed that black Americans are more likely than their otherwise equivalent white counterparts to receive poor recommendations for cardiac care, kidney failure, and other conditions like cancer and HIV. And they're far more likely to feel marginalized and unheard by their providers. Providers that, as a group, spend far less time with Black patients and white and are comparatively dismissive of the concerns of people of color. To climb out of this well of distrust, it's thus not enough to simply say, don't worry about the past, these vaccines are safe. We have to fix the modern inequities, the spiritual successors of Tuskegee that persist in the fabric of our healthcare system. And to do so, we must involve the voices of Black Americans from the ground up share power with communities at every stage, and deliver culturally competent care that addresses, that, that addresses the historical and contemporary discrimination Black Americans face each day. And we need to be careful about our language, reframing distrust as a problem from both past and present structures. Thank you.